Noguchi Medical Research Institute was established in 1983 in Philadelphia, commemorating the internationally respected Japanese doctor, the late Hideyo Noguchi. Over 35 years, NMRI has supported more than 1,200 young doctors as a coordinator of medical education exchange between Japan and the U.S. The core mission of NMRI is to enhance medical education focused on patient-oriented care, which is not only for medical skills and knowledge, but also human aspects such as compassion and empathy to understand the feelings of patients. Without humanity, medical education shall undermine the quality of doctors. This short movie tells the history of NMRI, including the development of its principles over 35 years. Back in the 1950s and 60s, the U.S. government actively received foreign resident physicians to fill up the insufficiency of doctors after World War II. During this period, almost 300 young doctors were coming from Japan to the U.S. for clinical training every year. Introducing the latest medical science from the U.S., Japanese medicine has made a remarkable progress. But due to the end of the Vietnam War, many doctors and medical students returned to the U.S., and the opportunities for foreign doctors who wanted to get medical training in the U.S. became greatly restricted. By the late 1970s, very few Japanese doctors were studying in the U.S. The effect of this closing access to the U.S. for Japanese medical society helped contribute to the authoritarianism of older doctors and Japanese clinical medicine began to lag behind Western countries. Dr. Toshio Asakura, then a professor of University of Pennsylvania, strongly felt the problem with Japanese medical care and the necessity to improve the situation. Dr. Asakura noticed that the Japanese great doctor, Hideo Noguchi, started his career as the globally famous physician at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, and he finally became one of the five key members of the Rockefeller Medical Research Institute, collaborated with Dr. Simon Flexner. Dr. Asakura planned to establish a medical institute commemorating Dr. Noguchi in this connected place and develop medical exchange programs between Japan and the U.S., for educating young doctors as followers of Dr. Noguchi's great accomplishment. Dr. Asakura proposed this plan to his former student, Dr. Yoshihisa Asano. When he heard the concept of this project, Dr. Asano naturally thought that what Japanese medicine was lagging behind in was in scientific aspects such as technology and knowledge. But before long, Dr. Asano had to correct this preconception. So, アメリカの医学を日本に持ってかなければいけない。今の日本のドクターたち、医者たちは間違ってる。
であともう一つメディカルソーシャルワーカーっていうのがいてこの6人がチームを、ね、形成して入退院も決め診療もしてんだとドクターは6分の1なんだとしかしチームリーダーはドクターがやるんだよとこういう話でいやーこれはね患者優先の医療しかもチームワークの医療医者が威張り腐っていない、ね、看護師さん薬剤師さん管理栄養士さんがもうねはつらつと仕事ができるこういう話を聞いてねよし僕はこの医学を、ね、日本に持ってくるという朝倉先生にね組みしようと固いしようというふうに思ったんですよ Soon after, Mr. J. Michael Kenny, then mayoral deputy for the city of Philadelphia, joined this project team. Hereby, the project team of NMRI was put into action. And finally, in 1983, under the guidance of Dr. Shigeaki Hinohara, NMRI was established in Philadelphia. Preceded by Dr. Joseph S. Gunella, then dean of Jefferson Medical College, And one of the founders of NMRI, medical exchange programs began between Japan and the US. The other founding members are the late Dr. Akitsugu Ojima, the honorary professor of Gifu University School of Medicine, who played an important role in the establishment of NMRI, and the late Dr. Kageyasu Amano, the internationally successful otolaryngologist. Who donated all his fortunes to NMRI in his later life? The activities of NMRI w a s initiated by those founders' endeavors. In order to promote continuous medical exchanges, the essential factor is stable operating funds. At the beginning, NMRI asked financial support in the form of public donations through mass media, such as the Asahi newspapers and TV Asahi. But donations were often followed with troubles. It would appear that the project of NMRI wouldn't work out. By depending only on good faith of third parties. Finally, Dr. Asano returned all donations exceeding $8 million to the donors and looked for alternative ways to raise funds. NMRI started a profit organization and supported their activities by themselves. Global Noguchi Doctor Hotline Service was the first business project of NMRI. Overseas, we deployed a unique Japanese style healthcare system, which is called Ningen Dock. Also, Noguchi Medical Research Inc., which is an affiliate company of NMRI, developed manufacturing and sales businesses of dietary supplements and many other health related services. With the strong performance of medical businesses, NMRI established a self supporting system for their activities. Without any donations, NMRI has supported over 1,200 doctors and medical students for their medical training abroad. Around this time, Mr. Takashi Sawada, who had been a business partner of Dr. Asano for 45 years, joined NMRI as one of the leading staff for NMRI's business department.
The core part of NMRI's medical exchange programs is overseas clinical training for young doctors and medical students. In this program, the participants have clinical practice in the hospital environment with many patients and medical people in the U.S. The scholarship candidates are screened and selected through the results of interviews, both in Japanese and in English, and group discussions at the annual examinations. Along with the scholarship examination, NMRI holds a major medical exchange symposium where senior faculties from famous medical institutions in the U.S. are invited to give keynote lectures. And also young doctors and students who came back from our programs give lectures and workshops to share their experiences and learning with the attendees. From 2009, the Noguchi Summer Medical School was started, proposed by Dr. Takeshi Tsuda. The main purpose of this program is to learn the approaches of how to obtain information from the patient, infer the disease state, correct the diagnosis, and figure out the remedy. ね、作らなきゃ、作られなきゃいけないと。それに特化して教育してるのがこの夏のね、夏期臨床医学教育セミナー。つまり、野口様アメリカのスクールです。今はね、医学界全体がジェネラリストが大切だっていうことが分かって
そうしてその後の時代の人がそれを関係するそのこの一つは平和ということですね。僕はね、野口で今年で、えー、35年目、ね、それで一生懸命ね、患者の心が分かるドクターを育てることに不信してきました。In recent years, the concept of NMRI is largely highlighting the importance of spirit of art in medicine. コンピューターばっかり見て、CT で撮った映像。アルトラサウンドで撮った映像 MRI で撮った映像そういうものばっかり見て患者さんの顔を見ない体にも触らない聴診器なんかはただ音が出てるかどうかだけを確かめる音響拡大器になっちゃってるこれは医者じゃないんですよ。Medical science such as knowledge and technology should be incorporated with the art which is how to communicate and treat patients to the point of facing the life of a human being. It's a human relationship between doctors and the patients, such as depicted by Akira Kurosawa in the movie Redbeard. I think what's really special that we have as clinicians is the human touch. We have the ability to not only touch the patients physically, but we have the ability to touch them in their heart. We have the ability to try to understand what they're feeling to help them through the problems. And yet, the art of medicine NMRI aimed at were moved on deeply to the next phase, led by an exchange of words between Dr. Asano and Dr. Pohl. Sometime around five years ago, Dr. Asano got a call from Dr. Pohl, who was coming to Japan soon, and was asked to make an arrangement to meet and discuss with a professional of art in Japan. Dr. Asano wondered. And asked the reason. Until then, his recognition about art in medicine was like the opposite number of science. The science is medical knowledge and technique, and the art is communication skills to open patients' h e a r t However, Dr. Pohl explained it's important for medical students to go to museums and have sensitivity to understand art itself to be good doctors. <laughs> それで私ね彼の感化を受けまして今まではアメリカの先進医学それから何にでも対応できる医者の育成ねそういうものに野口の主眼目を趣旨を置いてたのがもういっぺんにこうなっちゃったんですよ。Finally, NMRI reached their latest destination humanity, empathy, and compassion in medicine. By all means, it's the most essential factor for clinical education. Aspire to educate doctors with empathy for patients' suffering and gratitude for helping their recovery. ね、分かち合い、治して、治って、喜びも少しいただくような、そういう精神を持った医者にしましょうと、こういうことですよ。On the 8th of December 2014, Dr. Asano donated $2 million to Dr. Tikachinsky and Dr. Pohl of Thomas Jefferson University. This personal donation was made in his appreciation of long lasting friendship with Dr. g a n e l l a And based on Dr. Asano's commitment to the new concept of NMRI inspired by Dr. Pohl. This and other significant funding by Dr. Asano to Jefferson will be used to support programs focused on empathy and humanities via faculty development and other methods. In recent years, humanity and empathy in medicine. Has been the major thesis of seminars and events promoted by NMRI.
In May 2017, Jefferson Japan Week, which was a ceremony highlighted on medical exchanges between Japan and the U.S., was held at Thomas Jefferson University. At the opening of the event, Dr. Asano gave a lecture which summed up his 35 years of NMRI and awarded a shield for his contribution to medical exchange between Japan and the U.S. for many years. Mike, we have worked together almost for 35 years to establish Noguchi Medical Research Institute. What do you think of Giri in Noguchi world? Well, Asana-san, um, you raise an important question. I would like to speak uh, in all candor and quite frankly to all of the members of Noguchi's family and all of the members who have had opportunities brought to them by Noguchi over the last 35 years. We count on you to be examples in your professions, in your day-to-day -day life. And we expect that you will continue to contribute in any way you can, large and small, by sharing your expertise, sharing your time, and sharing your ideas with us so that we can improve and advance and spread these opportunities to more people. Mike, thank you very much. I'm proud of you and our truck. Okay, thank you very much. Oh. Thank you, Dr. Sam. Medical people who finished their overseas training programs through the support of NMRI become members of Noguchi alumni and they will continue their activities to support the medical exchange program for the next generation.